Hey there, it's Cal here from Reword, and I'm going to show you how to use the Reword editor to create outstanding articles. Now, maybe you've just signed up or you're thinking of signing up. I want this video to be a short and sweet direction for you to understand how to get the most out of our editor and collaborate with your own AI. So let's dive in and put together a brilliant article for our readers. So I'm going to start off here from the new article page and let's just pick a article idea from the side here uh, based on what Reword is recommending. We'll go into this one about work from home space that boosts efficiency. Now it's going to ask us about the objective of our article. And this is important. This is where we give the AI all of the context we want about this specific article. So have a think about things like the style of article you wish to create, whether you want it to be a kind of listicle format or something else, who your actual readers are, what their intent is and what they're trying to learn. And then also any other additional requirements or inclusions that you want your AI to understand and be aware of. So I'm just going to quickly write this out. Okay, so I've gave it a good explanation there of what we're trying to achieve. And now I'm just going to confirm uh, the language is correct. And we're going to click start writing. And in the background, there's an awful lot of complexity going on as our AI will build a topical model of your article and start to pull in research for you. So when you start with this blank slate, the first thing I recommend doing is looking at your research sidebar here, uh, heading into the sections like what subheadings matter most to my readers. Now, this is important because this is a recommended structure. And when you're writing an article, it's so important that you get this kind of outline right. Now, if you've used any one-click AI writing tools, which we're, of course, massively against, you're kind of removed from this process. It's not collaborative in how you outline your articles. The AI will typically kind of do it all for you. But we believe that the best articles need humans in the process from the get-go. And so that's what this is about. So let's have a look here. Uh, we're going to go for the benefits of creating a dedicated workspace. Ergonomics, that's super important. Lighting, plants, I love that. Color psychology, that's one I haven't thought of. We'll add that. And I'm not going to get carried away. We'll just go with that for now. Um, now, of course, this is collaborative. So we want to get involved too. So let's have our own heading. We'll use slash commands here to quickly check in a heading. And let's uh, say, why should you care about your home office? So for that, this is a little intro section. Um, let's get the AI in here. We'll use commands, uh, write an intro article discussing why you should care about your home office for health and productivity. Now, I didn't really need to mention that because I'd already gave it in as context when I was creating this article, but... No harm was done. Uh, and here we go. It's going to start writing this intro for me. And we can see what it's writing and take over at any time. Uh, now, this has done a pretty good job. I didn't really need to take over there. And this all looks good to me. Yeah, nothing I really want to add there. Now, let's look. The benefits of creating a dedicated workspace. So let's go ahead and let the AI begin writing here. Okay, now it's going to start listing them. Firstly, what I would like to do is actually have a table here. I think a table could be kind of a really cool way to display this information for our readers. Uh, so let's use commands again to give a bit more direction and say, uh, create a table comparing the benefits of a dedicated workspace. No, I don't think there should be an awfully uh, long table. It's just creating a subheading there to, to properly uh, display this section. And we can see now that AI is working away on something. We've got this orange spinner up here. I'm not going to touch anything, otherwise that will tell the AI that we want to take over. And there we go. Brilliant. It's put together this table for us. And let's say the statistics that matter. And let's display some statistics here. Now, we actually have a section for this that includes citations. So we've got what facts should my readers be aware of and what statistics should... Uh, could be relevant to the topic. Now we'll use both of these, but let's start off with the statistics. Let's see what we've got here. And I'll just get ready here. 
Okay, let's see what we've got. It's pulling in citations here from a load of different websites that are relevant and often influential in this space. Now, it's always important we check these citations ourselves. Um, a well-designed workspace can increase productivity by 20%. So we forum here. And you can see here, it's actually pulled in the link as well. So we don't need to worry about adding the link. That's already in there. But the workspace can decrease productivity by 20%. Uh, workers who have access to natural light report a 15% higher level of well-being. Love that because it will reference the lighting section later on. Um, plants in the workspace have been shown. I love that again So we're going to have that plant section. Drop that in there. And we'll select all these and let's turn them into a bullet list. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to make you wait for me to add in all these statistics, but you can see how easy it was to do that. Um, and we can also, you know, look at facts as well. Slightly different to statistics, less interest in the data. Um, now, of course, we can add our own uh, kind of questions as well. So if I am stuck on something, you know, in this article, let's say uh, we want to ask it um, about the, the benefits of or, you know, maybe let's say we don't know what ergonomics means. I mean, one explanation of ergonomics in the context of a home office. Tell me about why ergonomics are important for a home office. Now, I just want to make a point that this is designed as a research tool for you. So don't worry about using this to actually create content for your article. This is more a learning tool. It's to help you understand concepts and make sure you're armed with the relevant information to put together a truly class article for your readers. So you can see here it's giving me an explanation of ergonomics, um, you know, what happens if it's poorly designed and how to focus on, on ergonomics. Um, really critical for helping me understand how I can write better content. Uh, so now let's go ahead and uh, let the AI start writing. I won't give it a command this time. I'm just going to let it do what it thinks is best using the enrich feature. Now, there's three different uh, kind of one-click AI commands that you can use. There is the enrich feature, which we're using now, and ask it to rephrase it. Uh, it will go ahead and rewrite it in our typical style based on the AI's training on our other articles, as well as an awareness of our audience. So you can see it just did that very quickly. Now also we have a simplify button. It's really important with online articles that they're highly readable and easy for people to consume. We wanna remove the kind of complex and hard to understand sentence constructions uh, and simplify would help you do that. It's very easy with reword to import an article um, from your website and then simplify it. Um, I'm just gonna get involved here myself and add a section. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so as always, the human makes the difference. And so I've just wrote a section there based on my own experience and what I think is relevant in terms of how you can make an ergonomic home office setup. Um, so you can see now how easy that was to start putting together a really productive article for our readers. And we've learned about using commands to make it easier to give our AI direction. And we've learned how to use enrich, rephrase and simplify to quickly get our AI to help us out here. Now, that's kind of the gist of actually using AI to create content. Now, what I want to show you is some of the other features around the editor that I think are important when you're writing these articles and things that typically people look for. So to start off, make sure you're familiar with all the sections. On the right hand side, there's a world of information at your fingertips to help you create better articles from expert quotes, statistics and facts with citations, questions our readers ask, which is also known as people also ask, um, which can help you align with search intents. So you can see here, I can add something like uh, this as a title. If I was to satisfy a search intent, I know people are, are searching things like what kind of furniture is best for a work from home office space. I can chuck that in as a title. Um, in addition to that, the AI will load in some questions that it thinks we should research. Uh, for example, here, what are the best practices for setting up a comfortable and ergonomic workspace at home? I can click on this and load in this question and it will give me an answer. But remember, this is more than just about collaborating with AI. Just like any editor you, you're used to, such as Google Docs, uh, you can collaborate with your teammates by writing comments. And when you have a full article, you can use AI suggestions 
to actually get the AI to make recommendations. Here we go, for example, it's a short article, so it doesn't have an awful lot to comment on just yet. Um, but it said here, this section is missing information about the best kind of furniture for a work from home space. And it's completely correct. We haven't actually wrote for this article yet. It's honestly like having an assistant that's there to kind of make sure you're missing nothing. As writers, it's very easy to kind of get tunnel vision and the comments feature helps give us a bit of awareness of our content and make sure that it's the best it can possibly be. Uh, let's fix this using AI. Let's make sure we've got this uh, all written out. And it's added in a beautiful quote for us. Amazing content that it can put together. We'll stop it there and then we'll mark this comment as resolved. Job done. We look at the expectation of what a reader would have in terms of what they're, they're looking to accomplish, their search intent, you know, and how much uh, content you have uh, and whether it's likely to satisfy uh, what the reader's looking for. So super helpful to help you make sure you are uh, creating the best possible article. And then in addition to that, you have the information screen that will give you a real-time word count and character count, which we know is super important. So this is kind of the basics of the editor. When you're ready to publish your article, you have a few different options. So firstly, you can export it as text, markdown, or HTML. And you can use our CMS integrations, for example, WordPress here, to send it straight into your CMS. And when you're ready, you can then click publish and mark as published.